Hey guys, in this video, there's just a couple things I want to go over real quick to help get you started on this Desmos activity. Okay, so we haven't done much with piecewise functions in Desmos. And so for this first slide, what you're trying to do is to get Mario across the screen following this path that I put there for you. And so we've got two parabolas, one here, one here, and then like a constant graph in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna do this first one uh, with you guys, and then you'll have to figure out the rest on your own. Okay. So since I know this is a parabola, the first thing I'm going to do is type in the function y equals x squared, right? Because that's what a parabola is going to be. That's like the parent function for it. But now I need to do a couple things. First of all, this is definitely the wrong path, right? I need it to be upside down. And I know that in order to make it upside down, we put a negative in front. So now it's upside down. But now I've got to move it to the right and up. Okay, so I've got to go right three units, right? One, two, three, four, five. So three. So now, okay, to go to the right, we've got to be inside the function, which is the squared thing. So I'm going to type parentheses here, and then not where not where they suggest they go there, but uh, between the x and the squared. Okay, so now this creates the inside of the function. And remember, to go right, it's the opposite of what you'd think. So I'm not going to add. I'm going to subtract 3. All right, so now the parabola is in the right spot that way. Now I've just got to move it up. Okay, not quite to 5, uh, more than 4, right? So let's say maybe 4.5, that's not enough, 4.6, 4.7 looks like it works perfectly. All right, so there's the parabola, but the thing is we don't want Mario to follow this whole path, right? We, he can't go through the brick, he shouldn't go through the ground here. We only want him to follow it for the jump, and then he's going to stop the parabola path and he's going to do something else there, right? So the way we type our restriction in is in these curly brackets or whatever you want to call them, which on your keyboard are like by the square brackets. So I'm going to open up the curly brackets and then let's see, we want the parabola to start here a little bit less than one, right? Because here's zero, here'd be one. So I'm going to say like, I don't know, 0 0.9 is less than X. Oh, that didn't quite do. I'm going to do 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is less than X. All right, that's good enough. Um, and then we want it to continue until it gets to this spot. And it looks like that X value would be here at four. Okay, so if I do less than four, there, it stops the parabola in the right spot. And in this context, it doesn't really matter if there's equal two signs here or not, right? So just less than or less than or equal to doesn't really change much. Um, in order to type that, first of all, you can either just open up the on-screen keyboard, that always works, and then the symbols are down here. Um, personally, I just like to type them in. So after you type a less than sign, if you just type the equal sign, it just fixes it for you. Okay, so here's your first uh, part of the path. You guys got to come up with the rest. Okay, so you'll type a different equation in both of these, including the restrictions at the end. Okay, now when you hit try it, watch what happens, right? So he follows that path and then disappears because you guys got to come up with the paths for the rest of the level. Okay, so that's the first slide. The second slide is one of these marble slides things, which, so if I just hit launch here, right, the marbles will drop and it collects the star. The point is to collect all the stars and I put uh, like a suggested path here for you to try. Okay, so we've got a parabola, a constant graph, a linear graph with a negative slope, and then another constant graph that we've got to come up with. I'm going to do this middle one for you guys. Again, just to get you started, you'll have to come up with the rest, okay? Um, the first thing I want to point out, this is just a glitch because I kind of messed up the activity. If you type in f of x, it's going to, first of all, type that parabola in there. Um, but then if you start typing in a new equation, uh, this parabola disappears. So just don't use f of x on this slide uh, just because it's kind of glitchy. Just type like y equals instead and then nothing weird will happen, okay? So y equals, um, I'm gonna come up with this constant graph first, okay? So I know that the height of it is at two, right? There's four up here, so two, four. So y equals two, but again, this is not gonna work because if I hit launch, right, that's not gonna work. I only need the line to exist in this spot here. So after I type the equation, I have to open up those curly brackets and then type in my restrictions. So I only want it to exist for these x values, just like when we're uh, like writing piecewise functions, from negative 2 to positive 2. Okay, so negative 2 is less than x is less than positive 2. And again, in this context, it doesn't matter if there's equal two signs here or not. So you can include them or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, but there's part of this path, okay? You guys got to come up with the rest of this path to get all the stars. And then on these last two slides, um, it gives you three different transformations that you have to follow. Okay, so drag the points around until these three things have happened. When you do that, the graph will turn green. And then once you've moved the graph to the right spot, then you just got to come up with its equation. Okay, and then no matter where you move the graph, if your equation matches the graph that you came up with, uh, there'll be a little message telling you that it worked. Okay, so a little like self-check for you. 
Um, and then the last slide is the same thing, just with an absolute value. Okay, so these are more of a review of transformations, but it's good to keep those fresh. They'll keep coming up. Um, they're important with piecewise functions, and they may still be assessed yet in this semester. All right, so hopefully that gets you started on this activity.